Well, after wrestling through the crowd here at Ruger, I found this little guy, the 22 SR, a semi-auto 22 long rifle. Really nice features about this little guy. The action can either be double or single, ambidextrous magazine release, and the thumb safety. And the thumb safety acts as a decocking mechanism. When you have the hammer back, drop it into safe mode, hammer goes, and everything is completely safe. This gun is California approved, and you're gonna find it for around $300. How about this for Mythica, your Go to War Model 37 with the heat shield updated for 2012, but the Model 37 did go to war as the trench gun. This one is updated with ghost ring sights and stub Picatinny rails in front, maybe to take your laser or your light. This is serious home defense, folks. Four in the tube, one up, suggested retail, 650. Hogue Knives continues to expand their offering in the tactical folder line. This is the EX-02, all of which 154 CM steel in the blade, stainless steel liner, G10 Gmascus scales either in green or in black. You get a choice of Tonto or spear point in the blade, and you get the choice of a thumb stud for opening or the blade flipper. They're all liner lock and they all have a safety unique to Hogue. They'll be available March of 2012, price point right around 250. The outdoor sports are known for its history and paying tribute to its history, and Winchester is doing just that for Jack O'Connor, one of the greatest hunters of all time. Now this is Jack's very own Model 70. What Winchester has done is make two separate versions of it custom from the ground up. Jack's personal preference was a metal butt plate. However, at Winchester, they have a recoil pad. Besides that, very small differences, everything on these two replicas match the specs of Jack's Model 70. News from Trigicon, what they're calling the world's first hybrid red dot sight. It'll run off a double A battery that may last longer than four years because first choice for power is the solar screen on the top, which directly powers the red dot. They've also made this unit as short as possible to reduce what they call the tube effect. You look through this, you just basically see the dot. It's a 1.75 MOA for precise shooting, and it's ready day or night, but it prefers solar power. Amazing, from Trichicon. It finally happened, guys. Irvine had his growth spurt. Look at this tiny little 30-06 in my hands. All right, not a 30-06, you got me. This is actually a youth rifle from Savage. This is the Rascal 22 long rifle. Very user-friendly to your kid. Easy to operate this bolt, very short stroke. On the inside, it has a feed ram. This is gonna help the round go in when you drop it in. And it has a manual safety. Not all youth model rifles have that, so this is a really nice feature. You can unload it with the safety on. You don't have to fire that last round. The Rascal is about $175, black right here, but multiple colors to come this summer. News from FNH is the FNS. This is their entry into a striker fired pistol. And what I really like about this one is fully ambidextrous thumb safety, ambidextrous slide stop. There's an integrated safety in the trigger and a lot of research and development went into this trigger to try to make it feel like a 1911. Now a byproduct of that is a really distinct and short reset. Very positive and very distinct. 40 cal, you're looking at 14 plus one. Nine millimeter, you're getting 17 plus one. They've got a 45 and a five inch in development. Coming up, more from the SHOT Show floor. You never know what you're gonna find. I love my job. Did that work? Nobody is gonna look at me anyway, so. <laughs>